It's our last morning here and we're going to breakfast. Our last breakfast in Turks and Caicos. Our flight is leaving at 2.19 p.m. today and the shuttle is coming at 11 to bring us to the airport. It's nice because they're taking our bags down to the lobby. They're gonna pick up the bags at 10, so I have to be packed and ready to go by then. But for now, we're gonna go to breakfast and then maybe hang out on the beach for a little bit. Maybe for like 30 minutes, an hour, just to soak up the last few hours of being here. I think overall it was a really nice trip. This was my first time at an all-inclusive. We stayed at Beaches Resort and I'm glad I tried it out just to see what it was like because I heard rave reviews from a bunch of people about it, about all-inclusives, but I don't think it's for me. I honestly don't think I'll be going to another one anytime soon just because I like being able to experience local culture, local foods, local activities, and I wasn't able to get any of that feeling of actually being in a different country because the all-inclusive resort is so confined and it's like it's basically curated so that you don't feel like you're in a different country. I don't know why they do that, but it's like its own little compound. You can't really leave. And the beaches were nice and the food was okay. I think if you like to drink and eat a lot then it's worth it to come here but I'm not a big drinker and I don't eat that much food <laughs> but they have like Italian food, they have Indian, they have Japanese, they have English. It's just a bunch of different types of food so I guess you can have some variety if you're stuck here for like an entire week but I don't know, I, I'll i probably just stay in like a, an Airbnb or like a hotel or something next time and just experience some more of the like local island life. I think that would be more fun on the breakfast. <laughs> The flag is green for the first time since we got here. <laughs> what did you think of the trip overall? Overall, I thought it was good. I thought it was, it was nice and relaxing, you know, got to go to the beach a lot. We did some fun things like uh, jet skiing and horseback riding on the beach. That was an overall good trip. What did you think? I liked it. I liked horseback riding. That was the first time that I went and it was actually a lot of fun. I'm super sore. Oh, I got this really... So we went snorkeling yesterday and the waves were so bad and the boat was just going like all over the place and I was trying to get back on the boat because they, they brought us back early and I was climbing up the ladder and this huge wave came and lifted the boat up and when it came back down, I smashed against it. I smashed against the ladder and I ended up with this giant bruise. I don't know if you can see it. Like right here. And then I got this cut right here. It's shiny because I put Neosporin on it. Mark brought Neosporin. <laughs> but it was, it's, it hurt so bad. This is one of the worst bruises I've ever had. But it really hurts. It hurts when I walk or move or do anything. So it'll be fun while it heals. Overall, I had a, I had a pretty good time. I don't know if I'd come back to a, an all-inclusive. Definitely come back to the island. Yeah, I'd come back to this island and actually explore the island. There are people that go up and down the beach asking if you want your hair braided. If you want to go parasailing. And there are also people that ask if you want to go parasailing or do any other water sports because it's a public beach they can just they can do whatever they want i think i've said no to paris like 50 times yeah they ask us every single day at least a few times a day we're going to atlanta first we're gonna spend a night in atlanta i think it's like 50 degrees there so it's kind of easing us into the the 20 degree weather 
uh, near Boston. So I guess that might help. College Football Hall of Fame is right there. Do you like college football? Yeah, I like how it holds better. Yeah. The number 100 represents a major achievement in the Olympic Games legacy. 100th anniversary. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Where am I going? Here's the world of Coca-Cola. We're going here after breakfast. And then the aquarium is up there. The children's museum is back there. Look at that silhouette of the Coke bottle. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, here's the entrance. This is where we'll be. <laughs> Center for Civil and Human Rights. This is the aquarium entrance. More Coca-Cola.
little Fanta. Sour plum soda. <laughs> Whoa. Just finished at the World of Coca-Cola. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Get to try all different uh, Coke products. Yeah, the ta the room, the tasting room, where you can taste all the different flavors from around the world, is really cool. I that's the only room I remember from when I was here like 20 years ago. But I'm glad it's still there and that it's open even during these times. I'm glad you experienced it. Yeah, me too. Love Coke, Diet Coke. Oh my God, yeah, Mark is a big Diet Coke fan. <laughs> But, oh my god, it keeps falling down. We're heading back to the hotel. We're gonna check out and then go to the airport because my flight is in a few hours. And then Mark's flight is a few hours after that, or like one hour after that. I think this is where we can say goodbye. See you next time.